New at six, three Kenosha teens are dealing with an unimaginable loss of their mom and dad 10 months apart. Yeah, Uba Ali spoke to their family and coaches about the impact both parents had on the community and their children. When you look at this photo of the Vino family, you see happy faces and big smiles. But the last 10 months have been anything but happy. Brian, he passed away due to health complications. Um, so since then, my aunt Angela has been, you know, trying to figure out the new way of life. Raven Keski says her aunt Angela Vino stepped up as a single mother and made sure her three children, Ethan, Addison and Mason, never felt hopeless. Last Friday, Angela fell in her home. Her oldest son was able to perform CPR. But she died at Freighter Hospital due to her injuries. She was always the, the wild, funky go-to aunt. I came to her first for a lot of things in my life. How do you help your cousins navigate this new reality? I'm just trying to take them under my wing and whatever they need help with, I'm here. And Keski isn't the only one. Angela left a lasting impression on Ethan's wrestling coach, Gerald Grover. She was that dedicated for our wrestling program. Grover met Ethan when he was in the third grade after joining the Harvey Elementary wrestling team. If you ask him about Ethan. Super dedicated um, young man. Tremendously respectful. The kind of leader coaches dream about. But I always tell our kids, champions bounce back. And, you know, he's, he's going to bounce back. Bounce back with the love from his family, friends, and coaches. In Kenosha, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News. So let's help out if you can. If you would like to help the family with expenses, head to TMJ4.com and click on the link to this story. We'll be right back.